Hello procrastinators, welcome to Nerd Cube's free game extravaganza. Um, basically, a lot of you say you get sad face because you can't play the games that I'm showing off. So I decided to show off games that are entirely free. Five of them, in fact. Oh! Ooh, ooh. Ah. Okay, so we're starting with N, a game so hard, not even the little replay at the start can complete it. This game is so hard it can't even complete itself. It's... It, it's... Oh, oh no! Ooh. It's the game... This is the sort of game that Super Meat Boy wanted to be and failed to be. Oh, oh good grief. Th this game is the hardest game I've ever played. Probably, actually. That's true. Hmm. But it's also one of the most fun and rewarding, and it runs on pretty much anything because it's Flash. So it's just easy, fun, free. Oh, well, just a quick thing. All the links to all these games are in the description, obviously. Um, but yeah, let's give N a go. Oh, oh, <laughs> poor ninja. So these are the 100 episodes that make up the game. Each episode contains five levels. I think five, four or five levels. So that makes uh, uh, 73 million levels to N. Um, it will take you about a year of solid work to complete these because some of these are so impossibly hard. Um, oh, he nearly made the exit. I, I'm not even joking. This, this game is pretty much the reason I only got a 36% attendance in my first year of university, which is really bad to say, but it's true because I've played this game pretty much non-stop. It's addictive and it's brilliant and it's brutal. I love it. I love it so much. So let's start from the very, very beginning. This is the game. You control this little ninja down here. Shift is jump. We um, and that's about it. You can do wall jumps off stuff, like proper ninja things, and slide down walls, slow yourself down. If you're going too fast when you land, you die. And that's pretty much it. You've got to get the little switches which is sort of the top left of this screen, this little blue thing. That's the switch, that'll open the door that's just underneath my character at the moment. Um, and everything would be grand! These little yellow things increasing my time, which you can see at a bar at the top, that goes across the whole episode, not just each level. So it's, then you go to the next level. Um, this game is so brutal that you can actually kill yourself if you're too fast at wall jumping. That's the physics you're dealing with here. Um, the game itself is really floaty and ninjasome. Uh, it's I, f I found Super Meat Boy to be a bit sticky with walls. It always felt like you were a bit too attached to the walls, and that did screw me over a few times. Um, so I preferred this as a, a, a game, as a platformer. Hell, it's pretty much my favourite platformer. Um, this game is so brilliant, and it hates you. There'll be moments where you'll pick up one of these little golden things to increase your time and underneath it was uh, something that locks the game down so you can't complete it or kills you or it's brutally unfair it's it's a game for complete masochists but oh i love it so much that door's not open oh because that's what switch up there which you have to ignore and finish oh that's coming to get me already uh mind those little mines they they explode and they well watch oh 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 yeah now. So, you just normally jump on this little thing here. Go get this thing here. As you can see on this level, you go, oh, I should go down there and get those gold things, but you'll probably die. Because the game hates you. And it'll send things to kill you. See, that is actually too far for jump! So you have to gently rest on that little wall that's there. Push against it, it'll slow you down just enough so you don't die. This game hates you, we're only on level four. Fifth level. And I've completely just knackered myself over. Because getting these uh, deleted all the paths I could possibly use, so now I can't complete the level. Happily, the game comes with the, the letter K. Tap the letter K, and your character dies. So you can try again and not get those things. So the game is actually completable. Okay, I've got a lot of games to get through, so let's go through this quickly. As you can see now, I've unlocked level one. That'll be saved forever and ever and ever. Let's go to the end. Okay, this is the sort of level we've got to deal with. Uh, these platforms move. So that happens. <laughs> so what you got to do here, lots of... Oh, I've done this for such a long time. Yes. You have to be like a ninja, skimming himself for loss across the pond of life. That was nice. Uh, okay. Okay, that one's coming up here. So I've got to dodge that. Oh, no, 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 no. There, there was a, a Nintendo DS version, but it, it 
felt different. It didn't have this. I didn't feel as in control as I do now. And it, it, even that, even with that, it was way too easy. I mean, it was just. I, I think I completed it in like two days. It wasn't a lot of game, and all of the game that was there was just easy. I don't know why they even bothered with it, really. Oh yeah, money. That's that thing. Oh crap, 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 crap. What the hell? Oh no, I've just remembered this level. I've actually remembered. The, I haven't played this game for years, and I remember these levels. This is an escort level. Do not slow down. Do not go too fast. Oh, good grief. Uh, uh, I'm so scared right now. Because one slip up and you die and you're back to the beginning of the level. Ooh. Okay, okay. Speed at this bit. Speed, 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 speed. <laughs> Oh man, I remember this. I don't believe I remember this. Okay, jump, 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 jump. Oh, they're moving. Oh, this one's at the bottom. <laughs> Shit. Ah! So if you're able to complete all the levels of N, um, first, you are a gaming god. Congratulations. That's pretty much the final test. Oh, I hate those lazy guys. Oh, so did the replay. Um, yeah, if you complete all the levels, you can go to user levels and play user levels, of which there are hundreds. And there's also, you can download any levels that you find online, there's links to all that on their site. You can play all those levels, you can make your own levels, the game comes with a level editor. Basically, this game has infinite levels and is really, really hard and just brilliant, wonderful and great. Play it! Next game! Kerbal Space Program! Yes, a game so many of you wanted me to play, um, a game I adore. It's basically NASA if it was run by an idiot. Um, happily, I'm that idiot, so let's get going. So, you're presented with this, you click on the vehicle assembly building, and da -da -da -da, this is your command module, where your brave kerbals will sit. The first thing you do is you add a parachute, because otherwise you'll forget. Um, these all do wonderful, lovely things. Decouplers, you know when like the engines go whoosh, and fly off in a different direction when the rocket takes off because they run out of fuel? This is what this does. Um, so it's good to have one of them on. You need a SAS module that stabilizes you so you don't fly off into Norway. Um, and we'll just do a basic rocket. So this is a basic rocket. We can have fuel ones that you control how powerful they are. Or ones like this that just explode. Um, so you launch. Here we are on the launch pad with our beautiful rocket. It's a lovely sunny day. It always is. And you hit space bar. And off we trot into space. You can control the rocket with WSAD. W, uh, which is a bit wibbly, and Q and E for spinning, or just tap T and it will it will go up straight. This is overheating. That's new. Ah, we've run out of fuel. We managed to get high. Hit spacebar again. Each time you hit spacebar, you activate one of your stacky bits here. You activate one of these at a time. The next one was the decoupler, and the next one is the parachute. And then you can change the order of it if you want, so you can have things fire off at the same time or not. Um, we didn't get very high because it didn't give it enough power. Hey, there's a moon now. Cool, I'm gonna have to go visit that. Um, and now we're crashing towards the Earth. Or you can push spacebar, activate your parachute and not die. Activate the parachute. So the basic fuel tank gives you some propulsion. Have two of them and an engine-y thing. So you can see they're all sitting on there. So then we're gonna to wanna to add some solid rocket boosters, one on either side. So this gives you symmetry. So you can have as many as you want. So. We'll have four because I said either side and I meant four. Um, as you can see, this has gone on the same one. So if we hit spacebar, all of these will fire. That's not something we want. So we'll add another one here and drag these down. All of them. Thank you. So that means that you'll fire them first, then the other one, then the other thing. Which I think... Oh, they're not going to decouple at all, though. I didn't add any decouplers to them. Oh, well! It's not like we're doing this properly. Go! And now we jettison them. I didn't add a Jetson thing, so now we have a... Oh, I've done this wrong. Uh, with shift and control, you can control how powerful this rocket is. Um, but what I should have done was jettison these ones off, because now they're just dead weight. It's really dragging me down. Now if it's spacebar, I'll decouple again. Which is stupid, because I haven't finished burning off that, so now I have no control of this rocket. I'm not going to attach to it. Activate the parachute! Help! It's gone wrong! It's gone wrong! I'll pretend that didn't happen. Okay, so what you want to actually get is one of these. A radial decoupler. 
and then stick him on here. So then you want the decouple. Oh, we need a new one here. The coupler's moving there, so you fire, decouple, fire the next one. So that plays out like this. Okay, so they're done, you hit space, jettison, space again, and then you go. So that's what you want to do. Uh, if you want to be getting to the moon or stuff, you just use loads of different things like this. And, um, uh, yeah, screw all that, let's add as many rockets as we possibly can. Let's see how this NASA-approved abomination flies. Caution, you may about to go deaf. We're flying, we're really flying. I can't hear myself talk. Oh, that's a problem. That's a really big problem. Brace for explosions. Wow, vaporized. Space, go for all the things. There we go, and we can cruise nicely into space as if nothing went wrong. Okay, a slightly different approach this time. Although we're spinning, before this overheats, we're gonna hit space bar. Oh no, I put myself off! <laughs> I thought they jettisoned like away, but they actually just dragged. Oh. Okay, we're going to need to edit this a little bit. Could you imagine if NASA just brought that on and just went, Yes, this is our new rocket. It's called the, the, the just guaranteed death. Okay, let's push T before we boost. And three, two, one. Yes, it works. We're going into space. Uh oh. Okay, just let that explode. We know that does no damage. Oh yeah, yeah that exploded. What happens is, when I jettison these lot down here before they explode on me, it'll activate these ones here, which will explode and take me up. Not explode. Stop saying the word explode. Let's do this! Okay, so the bottom ones crash into the top one, so let's separate them out. There you go! How can this possibly go wrong? Three, two, one, blast off! working. It's working. No! No! Why did you explode? Why did you explode? Ah, screw this. Next game! Okay, this is not Tetris. But it is not Tet- It's not Tet- It's- It's not Tetris. But it is Tetris, but it's not Tetris. This is a game called Not Tetris. That's how you say that. Okay, so it's Tetris. But with physics. So you have to play with a physics engine. Um, and Tetris was not meant for a physics engine. So let's just... Oh, oh crap. Get that in there. I've, I've played this for hours and hours and hours, so I'm actually semi-decent at it. See? You don't have to get everything to get a line, because it's freaking impossible to get everything. Oh, made a gap. Oh, I've made a mess now! <laughs> that's not something that's easy to fix. Okay, um... Oh, yeah, that's, that's fine. Yay! Now see, now I have a little bit of debris. Uh, but you see the black, like, little black bit on the left has now gone white and grey. That tells you how filled up it is. So you don't have to fill it up fully, which makes the game actually playable. Which I think is the best thing about this game. It's playable. <laughs> Even though it really shouldn't be. Oh, I've made problems for myself here. Uh, fit that in there. That fit in there. Oh, it's mini! Yes! Online, now I have some debris to deal with. Debris is great, because debris fills in all the little gaps. Oh, I'm pulling this back now. Yes. 20 lines. Oh. No. Crap. 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 The guys who made this, I think they're Stab Yourself, which I quite like his name, um, are also working on a crossover game of Super Mario and Portal. So it's basically, it plays like the first Mario game, but with the portal gun, and it looks ex just gorgeous. No! I died. Yeah, there's my scores, my high scores. Beat those! I want proof that you can beat those high scores, and I bet you can't, because I'm God, just incarnate. When it comes to Tetris. I should stop boasting. Next game! Welcome to Trackmania Nations Forever, a completely free arcade racer, also the best arcade racer. 
Um, it's uh, mostly against the clock time trials and stuff, but also has some fun silly levels and stuff. I'm going to show you now. So let's just boot it up. Uh, loads of different difficulties of level. Online play, really big online play. Um, level creator, really great level creator. Everything has level creator. Um, great game. And this is how you control it. It's free. Let's do this. Okay, you select which uh, medal you want to be chasing. This will be the ghost that appears. So you know where you, what line you're supposed to be driving, etc. As you can see, this game is gorgeous. Um, there's the gold medal placed there. It's it's one of those racing games where you want your car to go somewhere, so you you just put it there. If I want to make this turn here, I know that is where I cut in for a good line. You just get a feel of it. You know you're never going to overshoot or undershoot. You're just in control. There's no loss of control feeling that you get with most other games. Oh dear! Wow, second faster than gold. Nice. Gold medal. Um, then you get replays, etc, etc. Yes, I want to play another track. Um, there are different types of level. There's race levels like that when we just race against the clock. There are acrobatic levels, which instead of a focus on just a racetrack, are focused more on flips and chiz. So in the case of this one, I don't even know what we're supposed to do. Oh, that's a boost. Flick. Skid that way. Boom. Slow. Mm, too slow. Improve. So, go a bit wide. Cut in a bit thinner. Cut it out. Come on. Yes. 18. Um, yeah, my flag's Canadian. I've always played as Canadian in this game. For reason I just don't know. Uh, yep. There's loads of difficulty and stuff. So if you want to go for a... Something like a red acrobatic. Red's near the end. Go against gold. So let's show you how evil this game can be. Why well, am I only showing you evil games? Hmm. Boost, boost, boost. Okay, sometimes the game makes you go in first person view, and sometimes you crash horribly. They're both, they're both, I meant to do that. That was just to show you you can crash. You may not have known. <clears throat> but yeah, the game makes you go in first person views sometimes. Because it's evil! Okay, up this wall. Okay, break, so we can catch on there. Flip around this wall. <gasps> oh, this has gone wrong. And admire the underside of the world. The general rule of this game is if you're breaking, you're doing something wrong. Just go around corners. <laughs> That's terrible advice. You're going to crash so many times. Oh, well. Breaking is actually important. This is the game that taught me how to break in video games. Okay, what the hell do we have here? One criticism, sometimes you're not entirely sure where you go. Oh! And that happens. That happens a lot. So, if you don't like the car you're given, and you're given a lot of them, all different countries, um, including Canada, da, 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 you can click paint. And then you paint stuff. So I wanna select the whole body. Oh, yep, and then you select the type of brush you want. Let's go for round and smooth, and then the colour you want. That kind of green, and then let's just squiggle down here. And squiggle down here, so it's got green, go faster stripes, and then that's your car. Um, when I first played this game, I spent a bajillion hours making good cars. Um, and it was time well spent. And if that wasn't enough gorgeous stuff to be getting on with, you can choose the track editor. Uh, I want a sunset track. And then you can build your own tracks. Oh my god, what is all this? That's a start gate, right? Yep, start gate. Cool. And then it's one of these to spin it around. Ah, right click. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then you can have the exit. Can be over here. You don't have to build a track. You can just, just, just do that. And then test it. I'm building stuff. Just hit enter. Ah, I built that the wrong way around. That's fine. I think it goes where your mouse is when you hit the test mode. I'll have to test that out, actually. Is it just where your mouse is? Yeah, it's where your mouse is. So if you want to test from, like, halfway, you don't have to do the whole track. And then you can just drive along, see if it's doable. And it is. Boost. Under the blimp. Past the castle. Past the cactus. And into space. 
So yeah, that's the track editor. Uh, oh, I'm not going to land this very well, am I? Pain, 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 pain. Oh. So yeah. Um, next game. Woo! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our fifth and final game, Star Trek Online. Oh, there goes the wormhole. Um, we're at Deep Space Nine because I love Deep Space Nine. And this piece of music is excellent and will blatantly be the closing music for today's episode. But yes, Star Trek Online, completely free, completely wonderful. I say completely, it's got paid content, but you don't even need it. Um, it's gone free to play and it is the best MMO I've ever played. I, I hate all MMOs. To be honest, this is like the, the easiest thing to win in the world. Um, but it, it, it's... When most MMOs are you go, oh, click that, oh, now it's dead. This is has that, but also you've got to position yourself right. So it's more of a naval warfare thing, and playing it casually, it it's lost to me quite a while now. And um, this is my ship, the USS Plan B. This is my second ship. Uh, you get as you level up when you get to each ten divisible of ten levels, you get a new ship. And this is the amount of times I have been grinding in this game. None. You basically get a level for every story mission you do, and there are a ton of missions. I mean. The mission list. How would you get to the mission list? Oh, it's around here. Yeah. So these are the missions I've done. Those ones. Yep. And that's the one I'm on. So these are the ones I get to do for the Klingon Wars. And then there's all this. I've no idea how to even get to that sort of thing. But it looks like fun. Um, there's also daily events. There's episodes of People Have Made. There's there's PvE and PvP, what the hell they are. Play a versus player and player versus uh, everyone, I don't know. This is the sort of area that it's in. Each of these places has about 20 planets in it, each of these squares. So there's about 60 odd planets in there. And there's all these sectors. It's huge. Loads of stuff, loads of content. Never ending content, daily events. If you like content in your MMOs, then come here. Ground combat is a complete shambles though. And it's horrible. But apart from that, it's great. So, let's go visit DS9. I'm gonna hit that, because that makes me faster and agile. Brr. Oh wait, no, let's visit my, my, my bridge first. And I beam down. Um, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I'm still wearing my armor. Let's take that. I always take my armor off when I'm not in battle. And I also have bits stuck on me. What the bloody hell are they? Is that my kit? Oh, looks like I'm taking that off too. There we go. Um, I didn't know that when whichever place you were in, that is what appeared on the view screen. That's nice. Uh, this is my guy. I have no idea how to... Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Put that away. No, that switches weapons. H puts it away. Cool. Uh, I don't know, if I... If I... If I... Yeah. I don't know how to make him look at the camera. Yeah, like I said, I've only played this for a few hours. Uh, but but this is my trill. I play as a trill because I think trills are the coolest species, and also they contain both daxes. Also, I actually have a dax on board. I bothered to. There's a, a creator, and you can create your own characters and stuff. One of my yeah, look, I made Ezri Dax. It's one of my engineer officers. Okay, I'm gonna stop being a nerd now. Um, this is the uh, next generation interior. Um, I thought this is one of the ones you had to pay for, but I unlocked it at level 10. So it looks like most of the uh, the content you actually unlock. Um, there's some things you do have to buy if you want them, like. Uh, costumes and stuff and one of my bridge officers appears to be in the ground okay uh, <laughs> I don't run the best ship in the world um, the only criticism I have of the interiors is that you have to battle in them and the ground combat is shockingly bad um, but also everything's too big it, it seems everything's just huge I mean where's the turbo lift I never remember is it this one no I don't know where I run my own ship uh, it's here isn't it yeah so you can turbo lift to other places. So let's go to crude it. Okay, so this is the size of the hallways in my thing. It's so big! Everything is so big, it's ridiculous. I mean, uh, area map. So this is the area we're in. This is sort of the crew deck. So you can go through here. Everything just feels so big. I mean, this is like, this is the largest interior. But even the small interior is huge. They don't seem to have like anything really. They don't know what small is. But you yeah, know, they're quite nice. It, it, it looks gorgeous, and this is my ship, and I run around it like a, an idiot. Look, I'm a trill, look, I'm a trill, look, I'm a trill. Um, I spent ages designing that costume, and now I can't look at it. Oh, I can just push you, can't I? I? I showed you to him before! I'm such an idiot. Um, yeah, and there's my ship in all its glory. You basically, you get stuff, and you equip it, and it's overly complicated, and there's this 
I unlocked duty uh, officers and I don't even know what they are. Oh, I've opened something else now. This game for confusing complexity is like every other MMO. It's stupidly confusing. I've no idea what's going on, but I'm getting it as I go along. And I mean, I'm just playing missions at the moment. Just going through the missions, of which there are a ton, and they're really fun. Also played some of the player developed ones, and they were quite good as well. So there's a lot of content, there's a lot of stuff, and it's all delicious and free! Um, and my ship feels really empty, there's a lot of people standing around looking pensive. They look pensive because every battle I go into, 99% of them just die. Uh, yeah, let's go to space battling then. Uh, how do you get out? Leave ship interior. My guy is so lazy, he will now beam to the captain's chair. Lazy! So, welcome to Deep Space Nine, formerly known as Terraknor. Um, someone just beamed away. You can do everything here. You can go to Quarks, you can uh, visit Ops, you can go visit everything, really. It, it's delicious and fun. Um, that guy ran. I can run too. We. Uh, this is where I got my ship. Uh, yeah. In fact, I will show you the difference between paid content and free content here. That's a good thing. Okay, so anything with a little C on it is stuff you have to buy. So, like, the old Enterprise and stuff. Um, they don't tend to be better, they just tend to look cooler. Uh, Alright, so these three, you see, didn't have the C on them. So these cost uh, 15,000 dilithium, which you get through special events and stuff. Uh, and then there'll be the second set. So these are the ones you have to be different levels for. So this one you have to be um, the level above mine, I think. Uh, and then there's the next set of three, so I can, when I level up next... Um, Yes, you rank quite a commander. When I level up next, I'll be able to get one of these. And then you can customise them once you've got them. And then the next level will be the ones you can't buy. The ones you have to buy and then the ones you get for free. So, you know, obviously the first ship I'm going to get as soon as I get there. Bam! Um, because that's the coolest ship in the freaking world! So, your ship, uh, basically you can choose what it's made out of. And you can choose the style of each thing. So the style of, say, the saucer. You can have that style or that style or that style. Or one you can pay for, which looks gross, so why would you want to? Um, and then on top of that you have the pattern, you can change colours, change the windows, then change what interior you want. Um, so that's the one that will give you. And then I unlocked that one, which is quite nice, because that's the one I actually wanted. Um, and then layout, which is large, that's what I've got. Even though the small one's pretty large still. You can have all these famous bridges, including old one. Um, yeah, windows, change everything. Basically, you can change your ship up massively. Just a huge amount. Um, which is nice. It's great. A lot of free-to-play games that I've I've played. You... you are Like, 99% of the content is stuff you have to pay for. On this, it's mostly unlocks. Like, you get a really good portion of it from unlocks. And when you're building your character up for the first time, it doesn't tell... It doesn't show you, hey, you can buy this. It's just... It just shows you stuff you've actually got for free. And you unlock stuff as you go along. So, yeah, you can throw money at it and get through the game faster. Or you can just go through it a bit casually and play it, I suppose. It's quite nice. Wow! Blimey now, look at the size of that. Um, when you get to level 20, you can play as a Klingon, and you get loads of Klingon content as well. So, like I said, content, content, content. Um, oh, I feel like the smallest ship around here. Uh, you can warp out and go to your places, or you can do a trans warp. Uh, trans warp just takes you back to Earth, so you don't have to travel through all the galaxies. Uh, it does sort of ruin the space-time a bit, but whatever. We. Ah, oh, this is embarrassing. I pulled up next to like two identical ships. <laughs> Whoops. Follow them guys. Uh, so this is Earth. You can tell because it's, it's Earth. Um, you can beam down to San Francisco in the Starfleet Academy, or you can go and dock and stuff. Or you can do what I wanted to do and just leave. When you've left solar systems, you enter this. Which is sort of the the sector space I was telling you about. I was wrong with 20. It's like 20 in the whole thing. Oh well, my bad. There's loads anyway. So yeah, this is one little sector block. So these are all the systems you can go visit and get missions for. Uh, so this is that bit there. So this is just those three sections there. Uh, so there's quite a lot of stuff. There's still quite a lot of stuff. There's all the all the things you want to go and visit. Like Deep Space Nine of this, Klingon space, Cardi space. Um, yeah, stuff. Romulans. Bleh. And the Borg, who are everywhere and evil. This is warp speed. You're going at warp speed at this point. So, as you can see here, all the different speeds. Like, oh, warp nine, I think I'm going X. I've got a really big thing. Trade with some Frangies. Now they're just screwing me over. 
but you don't want to see all this. You want to see a starship battle and ground combat. Well, I'm not going to show you the ground combat because it's rubbish. Uh, it's not rubbish. It's serviceable. It's a, it's a five. Five out of ten. It's, you know, I tend to just now, because I've got, like, a stealth character, I just kill everything from a distance, so there's not even any fun to it. Ah! So many explosions. Die. Kill him. Kill him dead. My shields are fine. Okay, when a ship explodes, when its warp core breaches, you really want to be nowhere near that. Nowhere near that, because that can really damage you. Um, oh, items. What do they get? Shields battery. Never use those. Uh, these are your shields. You can say, all powered or forward shields, or whatever, if they're getting blown up at that specific point. These are different power settings, so powder speed, shield weapons, or balanced. Didn't even know that was one option. You can tell I don't use it. I just stay on weapons. Uh, these are your special abilities and things, and these are your main attacks. Uh, this is my favourite special ability because it makes you wibble around the place quite a lot. So, super zoomy. So you can go in and you go boom. Extra power. Damage you. I'm getting damage distance. Double quantum torpedoes. Goodbye. <laughs> Just vaporised him. But you see, as I damage him, his shield disappears. So I've got to try and stay on the sides where I've damaged his shields. Otherwise, I've just got to fight the same battle again and shields recuperate. So, especially when you're taking down Borg cubes, it's best if everybody just fights on the same side. Borg cubes are huge, they model them to the right size, so you'll just be destroyed by them. The first, you'll be like, you'll be like, hey, you can come fight the Borg. You're like, oh, I can come fight the Borg. No, you can't. You can't fight the Borg. They will swat you aside. They will swat you aside like you were made of, like, an advent calendar chocolate. That's as much threat as you pose to them. You pose the same threat as an advent calendar chocolate. Ah, so what I've done here is stupid because I've flown over the top of him and now I've got to fire from his back shield as well. If he was a competent level now, he would take advantage of me and wipe me out. Wow. Yeah, I really can take on a battleship. Oh, I've crashed into an asteroid. <laughs> I'm a great captain, me. Great captain. There's another guy helping out. Go away, I don't want you to help out. I don't need friends. Kill the fighters, kill the fighters, kill the fighters, kill the fighters, kill the fighters. What was that? Someone blew something big up. Ah! Yeah, you can see this game's kind of pretty because I've maxed the settings out, but this game scales quite nicely. I played this on a, uh, my laptop, which is a bit crap. Um, in fact, very crap, comparatively. Uh, but it, it runs perfectly smoothly on there with the thing scaled down, so... It, you can scale it, so if you're like, oh, I don't know if I can run it, you, you probably can. Oh, I killed some of my crew off then. Uh, oh, crap. I killed off, like, most of my crew. Oh, but look at the breeding rate of my crew. Oh, there we go. Yeah, your crew breed really quickly, which is quite disturbing more than anything. So, I think I've blown up enough stuff. This game is actually it's genuinely good fun. So, I recommend you play it. I recommend you play it well. I recommend you play all the games I just suggested. Um, all the links to all of them, where you can get them from, for free down in the description uh play them and enjoy them and uh yeah can't really think of anything else to say so let's 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 um engage